Hey guys, it's John Rania from the Gosio University and today pag-usapan natin how to dominate your market, how to be like the number one of the industry that you are in, how to make the most out of, uh, most money from your industry, okay? And uh, yeah, yun ang pag-usapan natin. So a couple of days ago, I held a live webinar. Uh, for If your first time to hear the word webinar, it's just simply an online training. It's like you're watching a YouTube video. But it is live and you can interact with me. So over 7,000 people have registered for that live training. And uh, it is about how to dominate your market, how to get more leads and customers for your business. At yun po yung pag-uusapan natin. And one of the things that I shared there is the, um, the challenge of many small businesses. Now, because of the internet and technology, it has the good side and the bad side. And the bad side of which is... Um, your prospects or your competitors, they can like easily market like just like anyone else, right? So anyone can enter a business quickly. So in other words, your competitor, whatever product, if you have a small business or if you have a practice, professional practice, your competitors are just one click away. That is the truth. Okay. So. Ngayon, the next question is, okay, if that is the case, how can I stand how, out? How can I separate myself from the competition? At yung po yung gonna share with you guys two things that I shared in the live live training or live webinar. And um, one is you have to pick your battles. You have to understand that you cannot win every war, but there are war that you can win. Okay, so what do I mean? Okay, so in other words, I'd like you to be to pick a small viable market that you can possibly win. So for example, one of the attendee and he said, Sir John, I am a real estate agent. So I sell, I think, uh, condominium yung pinag-usapan namin dun sa live training. And I said, okay, let's talk about that. And I said, if you sell your you're a real estate agent and you sell a condominium okay sabi ko that every you have to understand that there are different segments in the market for those who are like uh, are trying to find or buy a condominium right now there are different segments or group of people okay sa unang tingin it feels like they all have the same desire needs they want condominium right but if you think about it say someone who's like about 30 years old okay and he'd like to buy a condominium and if you study the needs and desires of them they can be like well the reason i'd like to have a condominium because i work say in makati or ortigas and have a small family i have one child right so they probably thinking to grow their family siguro magkaroon pa sila ng one more baby or two more so they need a bigger space and they need a condominium somewhere close to where their their office are all right so that's one segment but then there's another segment so for example naman mga mga you know uh mga na in their 60s or 70s they are in their retirement age Okay, they they have money, so um, their need they also want condominium because it's just say you know pagod na sila to maintain a large house, so condominium mas madaling maintain much smaller, right? Uh, say mas secure, so iba yung needs nila compared dun sa needs ng younger say younger couple na yung first example natin, right? So younger couple they probably need someone. A bigger uh, a, a condominium that is bigger and they also need a condominium that near to their offices tung, tung, tung retiree naman could be different they probably just need a smaller one and also not necessarily close to business districts okay so what I'm trying to say is if you are a real estate agent Okay, then you have to pick a segment that you will be the best or you will be the the, the go-to person, the go-to guy of that market. Are you the, the, the person uh, mostly 
for young couples who are just starting a family or retiree, right? So yun siya sabi kong you have to pick your battles. You cannot be the the business owner for every market. Okay? Otherwise, you will be competing with everyone. But if you just focus on that one segment of the market, whatever business, okay? This is just an example based dun sa la, uh, recent web, webinar that I held. So that is one thing that you need to think about. When I start selling digital products and ebooks, and which is, I would say, that is where most people know me about. <clears throat> I, le I learned about how to market online. I was like 06, 07, 08, right? Over a decade ago. And um, then I look around the market and I see that it is competitive, uh, at least back in US and Canada, uh, or you know, first world like Australia and Europe, it's it's a competitive market. So in my mind, it's if I want to quit my job because I have a full time job back then, so I'm still learning and studying business and persuasion and how to market online, how to write emails, sales copy, and all those things. Pinagaralan ko pa So, but then sabi ko if I I don't want to go ahead head on, right? to any big competitors who are more experienced or more knowledge knowledgeable than me. So I quit the online, the sabi na natin in general term is the online marketing industry. I moved away from that. So what um, what I did is all the skills that I learned in this in that industry of how to sell and market over the web, I bring it to the Christian market. Okay? Where I target, again I didn't target every Parang in the Christian market, by only focus on pastors and preachers and teachers and and Bible teachers and all those things. Yun yung tinarget ko. And then, as I have said, dinela ko yung skills and knowledge and, and a little bit of experience ko to that industry. Which is, uh, it's so much easier for me to win. So much easier for me to win. Dahil nga, hindi competitive yung market na yon, Hindi as competitive. Hindi sila as knowledgeable for the most part online marketing. So that's how I easily dominate that market. Okay? But then again, as I've said, the first step is I also I pick that narrow market. I didn't serve every Christian out there. I just created books and courses and audiobooks for mostly mga devout Christians. Okay? And also, I also target yung mga youngest or average customer ko back in the day was about 45 years old. So I have like you know, uh, mga older, older adults. So that's another thing that I that I uh, target. And the funny thing, I was, I was, I was um in my early thirties then. Pero ang target market ko on average is forty five years old or even older. So that's that's the thing. So I really studied that market. I really, uh, I bought uh, some books and marketing, mar ma not marketing materials, but books about. What is it like to become a 45 years old? You know, 45 year old. Again, I was early 30s then, so I have no idea. Now I'm on my, I'm on my 40s, so it's my. Ngayon na experience ko na yung somehow na experience nila. So that's one thing that I did, and one thing that I'm um, trying to share with you guys is very, very, very important because business is competitive. So you cannot just go out there like doing like what everyone else. Because yung yung common mistake, default ng small businesses, and I did that, by the way. Okay, for many years of my entrepreneurial uh, career in, in, in life, normally when you start a business, you copy how other businesses in your industry market. So, you kopyahan lang kayo, right? So, that is why it's hard to stand out, and which is a common mistake. So, that's one thing. And, um, and um, the second thing that I would like to share with you, at Shinir ko din dun sa sa so, um, this a webinar is to is for you to craft your story. Um, why you do what you do? Uh, you have to understand that people would like to do business with people, human to another human, not to a cold market, cold business. That is why you are watching my video. You see my faces, um, my photos, my stories. You hear my stories. Under Negocio University, though Negocio University is the company, but you see me, my face, because 
As I've said, people are more attracted to another people. It's just a human behavior, right? So um, that's what we do. And then you craft your own story. Why? That's why if you watch, if you are watching this on Facebook, you see yung about page or yung story about me. It's a Facebook page. You go to my website. You also click yung about link dun sa website namin, negosyouniversity.com. You will also hear my story and always tell my stories. Okay? Dahil mas relatable. Because as I've said, people want to, de to deal and work and do business with another fellow human being. Okay? So you do those things. Um, uh, as I've said, that's how I also uh, dominated. And dominating is still the Negosyo University, uh, the, the industry that we are in. Those are some of the two powerful strategies that uh, that I've been doing. And I'm glad to share with you. Okay? So, uh, thank you for watching. And also, um, if, you, if this is something, if you are struggling, if you have a business, you own a business and you are struggling and, and uh, to get clients and customers or your competitors are beating you badly or binabarat ka ng clients mo and all, then I encourage you to check out uh, mejosikat.com mejo parang mejo m-e-d-y-o sikat.com and just register for the free webinar um, yeah so again thank you for watching I hope that you learned something new if if you're watching this on, on YouTube do not forget to click the subscribe button below and if you're watching this on Facebook again a little favor can you please click like and share and I really appreciate it muli po maraming salamat this is John Aranya. Peace out. Bye-bye.